the Liberal Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King opted for a wartime election, wartime federal parliamentary election that was held on March the 26th, 1940. During the electoral campaign, uh, he promised not to introduce, uh, well, promised or at least let it be known indirectly because he was not a one, uh, not a political leader who wanted to make precise definitions because in his opinion, or to uh, make precise election promises on the issues because in his opinion, they would give targets for the other fellows, in other words, other uh, parties' leaders to shoot at. Well, in any case, he indirectly let it be known that he preferred a no conscription or compulsory military service. However, two years later, in the spring of 1942, he organized a non-binding referendum or plebiscite uh, where he basically asked the Canadian voters for a mandate to release him from that no conscription promise should that become necessary. And as we know, uh, nationally, some 63%, uh, if I remember correctly, gave him that uh, promise. But, however, in the province of Quebec, the vote was heavily against uh, that release from the no conscription promise. The economic uh, conditions had gradually improved, although there was nothing uh, as dramatic as in the United States with uh, President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the Liberals improved their already strong position in the uh, Canadian House of Commons, receiving 51.3% of the vote, or 2,366,000, and securing 179 seats out of 245. The Conservatives ran as the National Government Party, led by Robert Mannion, and only got 29.2% of the vote, or 1,348,000, uh, uh, securing 39 seats. One of them went to an Alberta lawyer known as John Diefenbaker, who had run in some uh, elections in the 1920s and 1930s, but had always been defeated. John Diefenbaker would remain a member of the House of Commons until his death in August 1979 and would become Canadian Prime Minister in 1957. <coughs> The New Democracy Party received 2.6% uh, of the vote and 10 seats. The Cooperative Commonwealth uh, Federation received 8.4% of the vote and 8 seats. Though Mannion was personally opposed to conscription, the Liberals faced intense pressure in Quebec on the question and promised not to institute the measure. Um, social credit ran jointly with the New Democracy Movement of William Duncan Herridge. The voter turnout may be partly because of the wartime was only 69.9%. Looking at the results <coughs> more thoroughly, yeah, 39 uh, members were elected, a total of 39 members were elected under the National Government and Conservative banners. 36 under the national government specifically, and three under the conservative banner or party label. And of the uh, 10 members of the House of Commons elected under the New Democracy banner, three, uh, seven were elected as social creditors and three as New Democrats. Three liberal progressives were elected, two independent liberals, one independent, one independent conservative, one united reform movement. And there were candidates from many other political groups as well. 